What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Gmod's Weather. What we're looking at right now is one of the quick sells that you get for doing the, you know, the daily objectives. I wanted to share this with you because a lot of you guys are still having issues understanding. But for the guys that are not having the issues understanding, you guys are living it up, bro. Like, it's really, really crazy. And dudes are getting 350K on a regular basis. Meanwhile, the most I've gotten, like I said, is probably, I think, like 20, no, no, 75K. You guys let me know in the comments. I already know a lot of you guys that tweet me. That, what kind of stock and stuffer is that, bro? If EA don't cut this out, but um, I think that I know a lot of my viewers have gotten 350K. I don't know. I'm trying to. I think the most that I got was 75, though. Um, but yeah, it's worth it to do it every day because you, look, you're gonna play at least two games, right? You're gonna complete a set. I showed you guys how to use that with the predictor, uh, the predictor token a while ago. Just save one. And just put it in the set every day for that part. And then you buy a 500 coin pack from the store. A lot of you guys are psychos and you be buying all the other packs. I'm not, yo, listen, I'm not doing all that. You guys can do whatever you want. I'm not doing all that. But at the end of the day, just make sure that you understand that uh, all you have to do is spend 500 coins a day in order to do that buying a pack from the store stuff, which is very, very friendly by EA. Because I would think that they should probably put it for $50 a day. You know what I'm saying? With the way that they're doing that stuff. Like this game, bro, look, let me just say something, man. If I, if I could catch the ball, I would be a much happier camper. That's why I'm really, really upset all the time, bro. But listen, it doesn't really matter, all right? All I want to know, answer the question that's asked in the title. Can I score a 96-yard TD with running back Mike Vick untouched with defenders around me, bro? I just want to know, can I do that? I, look, and when I say defenders, I mean like the whole team, the whole team around me. Pause the video, like it, and then answer the question. The whole team around me, can I score a 96-yard touchdown? Go ahead, bro. I'll wait. All right. So now you should have already done it, okay? You should have already answered the question. It should be already done. So, like, the first 50 guys that comment probably more or less are going to be the guys that actually, you know, played the game the right way. Everybody else probably comment creeping and trying to figure out what's going on. So, look, this guy's going to come out. He's going to be a total bum. He's going to be running around with Mike Vick like a maniac, bro. This dude right here is a savage, okay? He's going to come out doing whatever he wants, but this is typical stuff, man. I, I don't know. At this point, you see, like, the guys that that write me or, like, you know, you know, tweet me, write it in comments, like, yo, bro, this guy, he was doing crazy stuff. Look, every yo, you're playing Madden, bro. Everything is crazy. It doesn't matter if you win. It's still crazy. The stuff that goes on in the game is that years, years from now, right? When everybody's looking back at certain things that, you know, took things off of people, took age off of people's life, Madden is going to be up there. People are going to, you know, like CTE with football is going to be something like Madden TE. It's going to be some kind of craziness because this game doesn't make me think properly. And I'm very, very angry a lot. And I don't know if it's because of this game. Like, I don't, I don't really know exactly what's going on. I can't really explain why I'm so angry all the time. Um, but I think that this game has something to do with it. And... The funny part about the whole thing with the game is this, right? Everybody that watches it, they don't really understand your pain. You know, you guys know what I'm talking about, right? You're probably laughing like, yeah, he's right. Because you can go to somebody's stream and watch it and laugh at it. But you know it's not supposed to be happening. You like, what's Okay, bro, okay, okay, keep going, keep going. But listen, you know it's wrong. So you're part of the problem the same way I'm part of the problem. Because I'm not going to lie, bro, I told you guys, I have no reason to lie to my subs. I go to people's stream and laugh hysterically. It's a, Yo, I don't care that you guys laugh at me when dudes are doing whatever. Throwing the ball through my chest, but then my chest is still whole. Like, it's just really crazy. But we are all to blame. Because as mad as we get about it, and you guys got to be very, very honest. As mad as we get about it, we go to somebody else's stream and laugh hysterically. So how, how are we that mad if we're not always mad about it? See, that's the problem. And that's what I'm realizing right now. Because I was in somebody's stream the other day. And um, I forgot what was happening. I think the dude was running some kind of play action play, and the dude couldn't stop it, right? So he just started playing straight coverage. And then the dude would play action and throw the ball deep, and it would be it would be like four or five guys around this guy, and he would just catch it in competitive mode. And I I, I want to say I felt pain for him, but I would be lying because it was hilarious, bro, and I couldn't stop laughing. But that's not what this is about. This is about the fact that that happens to everyone that plays the game. Not just to us, but we don't feel the same way when we watch it happen to other people, which is so funny to me, bro, because we all know what's coming, bro. Dude's going to come out, hike the ball, right? You're going to be straight, waiting to pick the ball. 
he's going to throw it right through your eye socket. And then he's going to scream out, Dot. But what can you, you can't say nothing about that. Like, look at this, look what this guy's doing. This guy is a maniac, bro. I'm telling you right now, this is the kind of dude, bro. He just goes around and just start kicking baby chickens, bro. He just start kicking them. He goes to the farm. They're like, look, you can't be here today. He's like, I don't care. He just start kicking them, bro. He's like, bro, stop. This guy's a psycho. But this is generally what we get in every game. And plus, it's weekend league. So the, I'm probably playing the devil right now. Like, it's really, I can't really understand exactly what goes on in any game that I play about him. And that's win or lose. Like, I, I make no excuse for it. Sometimes I look at the screen and I'm like, somebody actually sat there and said that this was okay. You know, you ever do that? Like, you're like, hold on, hold on. Because I don't pause the game during it, but my brain actually freezes it. And then, and I'm, I stay on that image. Like, it's sort of like when you, your, your defenders are all there and he throws the ball anyway. And then it's like an incomplete pass. And every, but even though everything's supposed to be a tip, they still make it because you're trying to pick the ball. Everybody's tipping it to each other. And then it's tipped all around on the team and it drops. And you're sitting there and you're like, the last guy I played, like every tip was picked. Now the ball is flying around. They're playing volleyball and my guy can't pick it. That's one of the major issues, like the inconsistency about it, right? So that's the part that I don't really understand is like, why can't I play a guy, right? And his card that's a bronze receiver catches everything. But my snow beast Calvin drops everything. And then this guy's running around and throwing the ball backwards and all kind of to the sidearm. And he's left-handed throwing it to the right. Yo, the, these kind of things that go on game to game, I love it, bro. This makes me so happy inside. Obviously, I'm being sarcastic because I'm raging internally. And my blood is boiling during the games. But it's a very, very good release. And the one thing that I can say is that we have a lot of fun in the streams because we all know what's happening. It's not a secret. We like, like, look, look at this idiot. Like, I know he's going to do that. And then Mike Vick is not going to fumble the ball. He's going to truck my entire D line. And I'm happy with that, bro. I'm not, listen, I, I'm, I'm just so happy right now. Like the things that are going on in this game, I'm just really, it's like a kid in the candy store, bro. Like, I'm just really excited about the fact that this guy wants to run wham. It, it's, it really excites me, bro. He wants to run wham, bro, on conservative with Adrian Peterson. What is not to like about that? that I'm going to get trucked if I try to go for a tackle and the guy is never going to fumble the ball because somebody at EA Sports thought that it was okay to not make you fumble on conservative. Like, these things are so great to me. But you guys don't understand how it feels, man. Well, most of you do because some of you guys play the game a lot more than I do. Like I told you guys, my stream could be anywhere from 3.2 minutes to four hours, bro. And I don't care, dog. Like, listen, the game has to go off. Did he just step right through his groin? Look, you know what, bro? Like, I'm at, look, listen. We're going to get, look, bro, we see what the challenge is, right? So, obviously, we got to wait till I get the ball. H have, have I gotten the ball yet this game? I don't even know because I've been going on a rant about this whole situation. But once I get the ball, we're going to see what the challenge is about. But I wanted to just share some stuff with you because we're getting a lot of uh, new subscribers. Uh, shout out to all you guys that's been subscribing to the channel as we continue to grow. And you guys have been asking a lot of questions like, Jemiah, why do these things happen? Why does this happen? And I'm trying to tell you, see like that hit stick? He's not going to fumble because he's on conservative. It doesn't matter how I hit him. The hand of God can come down and smash this man, and he will still hold on to the ball. Like, this game is not good. Like, oh, like, what is, what is this guy doing? All right, so now all the stuff that he's done, right? He's done all that stuff. Now, look, can I run a 96-yard touchdown with Michael Vick right now? How many tries? Pause the video. How many tries is it going to take me? This is the challenge for you. How many tries? Write it in the comment section. Because I'm not even trying to pass the ball right here. Because what's going to happen is he's going to rush nobody and sack me. So what I'm going to do is I'm definitely running the ball. Am I going to get it on this play? Go ahead. Answer. Yes or no? Go ahead. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Wrong. Wrong. Yeah. A lot of you guys said yes. Nope. Okay. Do it for, Am I going to do it on second down? Am I going to do it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Second down, first down. You know, first down is already out of there. What are we doing right now? Let me know. Because that that wasn't even Mike Vick. Wasn't that was that Ladanian Thompson by mistake? Yo, I hate that guy. All right, so are we doing it now? Let me know. Leave it in the comment section. Remember, all his defenders have to be around me, and I have to be untouched, even though they're right there. Can I do this right now? Let's find out. Okay, all the defenders are right. Oh, we're out of here, bro. Okay, let's go. All right, so if you voted for second down, then you would probably... Oh, my... Yo, this dude... Yeah, I can't play this game. I can't play, I, look, I'm doing this, and I don't want to play this game no more. I got to turn this off, bro. Like, this game right here, like, this dude had to turn it off, too. He had enough of this, bro. He's like, you know what? You know what? I ain't signed up for this. 
That was crazy. Let me know if you won the challenge. Until next time, Jemaya's World, one love.